What are you noticing though about some of the young people, what they're doing, how they're feeling about fatigue lockdowns? Yeah, you know, when I spoke with Dr. Fauci earlier this year, he mentioned that it's not abnormal for young people to be responsible for the spread of infectious disease. So this isn't, I, not, I don't mean to sound like a boomer with that, blaming young people, but it, it isn't super rare for young people to spread infectious disease a lot. Uh, but what is interesting, particularly in the US, is that young people just aren't getting vaccinated at the rates that we had anticipated and that public health experts had anticipated. For those 18 to 24 year olds, only 56% of them are vaccinated right now, and that's just not high enough, right? Is, is there an issue though with them being young, meaning physiologically? Mm. Is there an issue with them maybe being more susceptible to both getting the virus as well as transmitting it. You know, what's so interesting about that question is that in the beginning, we thought that it was older individuals. Mm. We were worried about the 65 plus immunocompromised folks, but the virus is so smart and it wants to mm -hmm. stay alive. So as that older group got vaccinated, the virus said, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go to the younger people now if I wanna right. survive. But, and you look at those vaccination rates that we had on the screen, I mean, it shows you part of the problem. Is this yeah. just an issue of age of people just, I guess at a certain demographic, just say, I don't need to worry. I mean, when I was 18 and 24, I didn't really care about anything. Right, well, and also yeah. you're thinking to yourself in this position, yeah. I've had to take a year off of college, I'm mm -hmm. trying to go out with my friends, right? Yeah. And, and you've been hearing from experts that the virus isn't gonna make you super sick. So they didn't know that they needed to really go out and get this vaccine uh, and feel a lot of pressure about that. And now they not only need to be vaccinated, they also need to get these booster shots. So it's a big, big push for uh, public health officials to get these younger individuals to go get those jabs. All right. A very important stuff here. Uh, Madison Mills from Bloomberg Quick Take stopping by here uh, to give us a little bit of insight into that aspect of this.